Hello, hello, this is Misty. This is Misty. Yes, let's get in it. So today I come with you for the weekly horoscope for the cancer for the week of November 6th through November 12th. So, cancer, yes, you water sign today, this week. Your lucky stone is the blue topaz. Your lucky number is the lucky number of 27. Excuse me. Your mood is you're in a caring mood. Your color for this week is the color of pink. Your 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 uh moon uh, your planetary alignment surrounds the moon. Uranus and Saturn. Your energy your lucky number for today is number 27. And Cancer, it is easy to wallow. Okay, those two wanted to fall on the other side. It's easy to wallow in pretty in pity than to see yourself as a victim in this story. Hmm. Cancer isn't a victim. Not by far. Yes. Cancer is in the energy of Queens of Wands and Ace of Swords energy. So since I pulled the Queen of Wands over first, you're in the energy where you're vibrant, you're vibrant, you're magnetic, you're determined, you're a determined woman. You're generous, you're businesslike, popular among others, ambitious and very political. You give good advice. And valuable assistance. So why are you playing victim, cancer, when you are a survivor? It's time to bring the gift of acceptance to the table. It's time to start giving yourself permission to feel strong. It's time to lose those feelings of guilt of what I didn't do. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to shout, shout. But it's time for you to put those big, big girl or big boy panties on. Because you an ace of swords energy. You're in the energy of new ideas. Because you have the mental clarity, cancer. You're very determined, cancer. You're ready to face all adversities and come out victorious, cancer. The truth is on your side and you're about to go through a breakthrough because you are a beautiful being and vulnerability has a birthplace and in innovation and creativity and change. And you're on that way to healing. You're on that way to change. Hesitation and fear must stop and stop now. You in the energy right now that you are the ace of cups. You are receiving. Creativity is yours. You inspire others. Cancer. New beginnings is yours. You are in a rebirth energy. New love may be coming your way. Or marriage. You're in an energy where you're showing compassion and emotional health to yourself as well as others. Your cup is running over with goodness. And speaking of that this week, you will have plenty of money available to splurge. However, don't splurge. Don't splurge. Because luck is on your side this week, cancer. You will have enough because you were smart to have a monetary savings account. And it is gaining and it is winning its momentum this week. As far as health is concerned, you need to pay attention to your health. Stay away from sick people because I see a cold. Stay away from sick people because I see allergies. And when it comes to um, your job, you are appreciated by your peers and your supervisors. However, you are able to approach a, a unique approach to carry out your work. And others want to see how you have this large workload and you're able to get through with ease. 
You're in an energy now where those around you are acting like pages because they are not on your level. This page of wands. You have people around you that lack direction. They always in an energy where they want to bring bad news. This is not the whiz. Do not bring me no bad news. No bad news. No bad news. These people are so immature. They stay in that energy where they always want to be up and through your business. They always gossiping up at somebody else's cubicle instead of getting their work done. Meanwhile, you're in an energy of temperance. You're balanced. You're doing things in moderation because you're showing patience. You know your purpose at work. Okay. In this temperance energy, you are in the energy of balance. You are in the energy of moderation. You are in the energy of patience. You know your purpose and your meaning because you are tolerant to rhythm and harmony. You are in an in energy where you're adapting because you have self-control to overcome adversities. Yes. And when it comes to your love situation, you are in an energy where you are in the two of cups energy. You're, uh, you have the love of attraction on your side. You have one that wants to be in union with you. You have one that wants to help you and receive the love that you have to give in this two of cups energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the prayer for the Pisces for the week of November 6th through November 12th. Seeing all you are, seeing all you are who are upright in heart says psalms 32 11 and what is the chakra this week for the cancer okay so your chakra chakra cancer focus on your chakra chakra and the stone for the chakra chakra is the the peach moonstone, the sunstone, the red tiger's eye, the, the tangerine quartz, and the coral quartz. Focus on the spirit guides of Zedekiel. The sound, the sound therapy of the sacral chakra is bum. The aroma therapy is jasmine, orange, hibiscus, and ling yang, and clary sage. Affirmations for the sacral chakra. I am a creative being. I am available to express myself. My sexuality is healthy. I am sacred and safe. I am worthy of all of the gifts that the divine has to offer me. The characteristics of the sacral chakra influence thoughts about boundaries, sexuality, Creativity, pleasures, attachments, addictions, and letting things go. The sacral chakra affects the spleen, the kidneys, blood, sugar, and uterus. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what does the dice have to say for the Pisces this week? Let your light shine, Pisces. You make my heart smile, says the divine. Keep at it. It might be hard out here for you, but do not give up. When you give up, you are conforming to what another wants you to be. If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe.